In this video, we will learn the concept of percent. There are various problems in the C set which uses the concept of percent. Percent in the simplest sense means per hundred. Thus, the expression 20% simply means 20 y hundred. That is 0.2. Thus, to convert a percent to a number divided by 100. For example, 4% can be written as 4y100, 0 0.04. 40% can be written as 0.4. Similarly, 400% can be written as 4. Similarly, to write a number in a percentage form, we have to multiply it by 100. Like, for example, 2 can be written as 2 into 100 as 200%. 0.2 can be written as 20%. Similarly, 0 0.02 can be written as 2%. As seen above, x% percent is nothing but the fraction with numerator x and denominator 100 x percent is nothing but the fraction with numerator x and denominator 100. Identifying certain percentage in the reduced form of the fraction can be very useful. For example, whenever we have to calculate 20 percent, we can calculate 20 by 100 and that is 1 upon 5. This is fraction form and this is percentage form. To solve the problems of C set, the this relation of some percentage can be very useful. I am writing these percentage that can be remembered very easily. 1 upon 2 can be written as 50%. 1 upon 3 likewise can be written as 33.33 percent 1 upon 4 can be written as 25 percent 1 upon 5 can be written as 20 percent 1 upon 6 can be written as 16.66 percent 1 upon 8 can be written as 12.5 percent 1 upon 9 can be written as 11.11% 1 upon 11 can be written as 9.09% Now we will understand the concept of percent through some problems Like in the first problem we have to express 15 as a fraction Like I said earlier percentage can be nothing but the per hundred so 15 15% 15 can be written as 15 upon 100 that is 3 upon 20 so 3 upon 20 is fraction form of 15% similarly a fraction form can be written in percentage form by multiplying it by 100 5 by 6 into 100 that is 500 upon 6 that will be 83.33 percent the next problem is simple application of percent if the A's income is 40 percent of B's income if the B's income is 10%, then what will be the income of A? B, uh, the B's income is 10,000 and uh, A's income is 40% of B's income. So 40% is nothing but 4,500 of B's income. B's income is 10,000. 
so age in gummies nothing but the for and day in the next set of problems we will move a step ahead if the x income is 25% more than the y income by how much percentage y income is less than x income in this problem we will first assume that y income is 100 the x income is 25% more than the y income so we will calculate the x income in this format like the 100 into 25 equals to 25 the x, in, x income is 25 more than the y income if the y income is y then the x income will be 100 plus 25 equals to 125 we have to calculate the x income y income that we have to calculate by how much percentage the y income is less than the x income so we will calculate the differences it is 25 percent 25 less and 25 upon the x income is 1 upon 125 into 100 so this will be the answer and that will be 20% in the next problem we just change a little bit if the x income is 25% less than the y then how much percentage of y income is more than the x income in this problem like the earlier problem we will assume the y income to be 100 the x income will be 25 less than the y income so x income will be 75 so the answer will be in this case 25 upon 75 into 100 that will be 100 by 3 33.33% in the next problem the problem is the if a side of a rectangle is increased by 20% if the side of a rectangle is increased by 20% then how much the other side will be decreased so the so to maintain the same area area of a rectangle is a into b a is this side and b is this side so to uh, calculate the by how much percent b should be decreased so that area remains same in this problem For simplicity, we will assume both sides equals to 100. A equals to 100, B equals to 100. So the area will be. And now the A is increased by the 20%, so it will be 120. And suppose B is decreased by R percent. So B, the changed B can be written as 100 minus R. We are writing them directly without percentage because they are 100 and the we know that percent, percentage is per 100. So after solving this we will get 100 minus R equals to 1000 upon 12 and R will be in this case 16.67%. So by decreasing the other side by 16.67 percent we will get the same area in the next videos we will learn the some other applications of percentage thank you